now more important than ever, I'm seeing websites needing to respond to the different devices. There's so many devices out there at this time, whether it's a tablet, a mobile phone, laptop. Having a site that responds to those devices is crucial. The best thing about mobile devices or tablets these days is 4G is now uh, fairly prevalent. So you can actually do more on those sites than you could before, whereas it was scaled down to bare bones for mobile and tablets. Now you can have a lot more uh, going on, whether it be video or graphics or things of that nature. And even with search engines, if your site does not conform to mobile standards or responsive standards, it can ding you. At one point in time, years ago, we were doing a website and then a mobile website. Well, now Google and some of the other search engines look at that as uh, a negative, a detractor, because there is a seven nanosecond period of time where you uh, the site decides which version it's going to show, and that, uh, and as far as the search engines go, is uh, a negative because it takes longer for the page to load. So what we're doing is actually building the site in tiles so that if the screen is wide on a widescreen monitor, it lays out nice. If it is on a small mobile device, then it just stacks the tiles. We've started using a technology that Twitter developed called Bootstrap and some other variants like that that are tremendous. They load fast, they're easily customizable, and no matter how you're looking at the website, it, uh, on what devices you're looking at on the website, it looks great. You still have that branding going on, you still have all the uh, elements that you want your users to see. Custom web design has changed dramatically over the past few years. Depending on your needs, your budget, uh, there's a lot of different platforms that are out there. WordPress, Joomla, several different others that provide a content management system so that you can manage it yourself. And they come in a responsive design so you're getting something that's mobile friendly as well as desktop friendly and you can manage it yourself. And it's economical compared to traditional website building with custom design. Video is being incorporated into websites more and more these days, and that's something that you're gonna to continue to see more. Just about everybody has high speed now, so bandwidth is not an issue, and people can afford to see these nicer websites and download the video and watch the videos. With your website, it's just like anything else, activity breeds activity. You want to make sure that you're keeping your website current with not only what you're working on, but what the uh, client is looking for. You know, there's trends going on all the time in different verticals. These content management systems like WordPress make a huge difference because you don't have to pay someone to update your site. You're empowered to do it on your own. It really makes a huge difference with how you're perceived on the web, either by search engines or by people. People want to see current content, and so the search engines make sure to reward the ones that are constantly updating their websites. And so that, in turn, gives you a better ranking. And at this point, keywords, meta keywords, things of that nature, have little to no effect on search engines because they've been manipulated for so long over the years that uh, they've just uh, turned a blind eye to them. And they're looking at the content Looking, how fresh, looking at how fresh it is and how relative it is to what people are looking for. And they categorize you based off of that. If you think you've just got some meta keywords in there these days and you're set, then unfortunately you're not gonna see the results that you would if you were proactive on your website.